I need to pack my room. In my life, there have been three things that I've always, always struggled with. One, being consistent, diligent, and disciplined. Two, being focused. And three, keeping my room neat. And honestly, keeping my room neat is kind of the same as one. It's all about consistency and consistent effort, even if it might seem futile at the time. SL series video line. SL60W. You buy a new one, the newer versions, they have a very quiet fan. Very good. The old ones with the noisy fans, don't touch them. Now there's a reason why boomers, as out of touch as they are, like to tell people to clean their rooms, like to tell young people, clean their rooms, take responsibility of their house, of their belongings, of their rooms. It actually makes plenty of sense. You know, you wake up in a clean room, you start your day fresh, you consistently maintain what is yours, you know, you show that you care that about what you have, you know, you, 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 you realize what you have, you have some sort of regimen in your life because when it comes to cleaning rooms, it's all about consistency. It's all about having to do it, you know, week in, week out or month in, month out, this depending on how disciplined you are. You wanna see what blue tech looks like when it's dissolved? This, this is what it looks like when it's heated up and dissolved with a bit of mineral oil. Ugh, yucks. Started packing my room, I decided, I'm gonna make a video about it. But as I made the video of me packing the room, I realized it wasn't very interesting. But I was thinking and thinking, I was thinking about what it meant and what having consistent effort and consistently keeping your room neat really meant. And then I realized that this has a lot to do with discipline. And then I went down this psychological, philosophical breakdown and why so many teenagers, me heavily included in that list, struggle with having discipline struggle with having drive and direction. Why is discipline important? Uh, I don't think I really need to tell you. If you want to succeed in anything, it takes consistent quality effort that isn't based off motivation. Motivation might get the ball rolling, might get you all fired up starting the first one to two weeks, but once it fizzles out, you need to fall back on discipline and being consistent and diligent. And that's where a lot of people struggle and most of these people are like young people like me. But I am blaming genes for all of that. Not to say that because you maybe weren't born genetically blessed with being hardworking and hardwired in your brain to be hardworking because of how you were raised and all that, that you can't be disciplined. The fact that you are watching this video up to this point right now, by the way, 90% of you, 95% of you aren't subscribed, so subscribe and stuff like that. The fact that you're watching this video up to this point like that means that you're interested in trying to find some discipline in your life. If you're watching it up to this point, you either haven't really thought about it, but you thought my hook was kind of interesting, or you've been thinking about trying to fix your life and fix your habits and trying to improve yourself when it comes to your work ethic, to your discipline, to your to, to, to how it does stuff, you know, and, and, and all that. And the fact that you've watched up to this point means that you have that in you, you desire that. And I think so long as you desire something, it's very, very possible to get it. Now, this isn't going to be a guide. This is just me introspecting on discipline and being diligent because packing my room isn't interesting enough content and packing my room in silence has made me realize a bunch of things. Just that meditative state of cleaning things up. The Canon EOS R manual. The best manual on earth. Just kidding. I do read it though. Why don't I have discipline? I was thinking to myself like, why the hell do I struggle so much with keeping consistent effort? I think the simple answer is because I lack fear. You know, I am a lucky piece of crap that's born in a very fortunate position. I have loving parents that didn't really discipline. I, I live comfortably. I have three meals every day. I have a bed to sleep on. I have shelter. I have time to watch YouTube videos at night. I can game when I want to. Things like that. You know, I have a very comfortable, privileged living. And I think because of that, there's no environmental pressure for me to just naturally, you know, have that burning passion, burning fire to just rush and charge and try to achieve something that maybe my parents who grew up poor might have had. And also there's that there's that lack of of 
of kind of pressure to make it. There's no that kind of there's no kind of pressure from the environment. And because my parents weren't the harsh kind of parents that really punished me for not being disciplined, there was nothing that externally forced that onto me. I think I really believe that discipline and work ethic doesn't just come naturally from genes, it comes a lot from external factors. Your, you know, your pressure, what, the way you were raised, what you've been reading, what influences you. Of course, how you are innately as a person definitely has an effect on work ethic, but I'm quite sure that external things are a huge reason as to why people end up being very hardworking and disciplined and diligent and aren't. But the thing is, as we grow up and we learn, the good, beautiful thing about the internet and the good, beautiful thing about growing up is we start to learn to absorb information from our own choice of sources. We start to learn and absorb things from what we read rather than just what is fed to us. We look for information, we Google, we have YouTube videos, we watch things that have interesting stuff to us. And that slowly starts to veer us in the direction where we become more and more introspective and self-reflective. Hopefully, at the very least, that's what I think most people should try to be, at least. We, as we grow up, you know, we get, we, we get more mature and we more and more realise how important it is to be goddamn hardworking, to get a life, to get a job, to get things going, to get things right. And I'm at this point in my life right now, I'm just like, I really need to make it, because if I don't make it, I'm screwed. And because of that, I've been just thinking and thinking about why I always struggle with being hard work. The thing about discipline and hard work and diligence is just that it's not common to teach it as like a set plan, as like a, a set scheme, a set kind of guide, there's no easy way to teach it, you know? Everyone understands why hard work is important. Everyone understands that getting hard work equals good results. Everyone understands that assuming you work smart, some, assuming two people work the same exact way, some the person who works harder and faster is going to end up performing better than the person who doesn't. But no one teaches you how to consistently get yourself to work hard. Everyone wants to, but not everyone can because no one knows how to teach that. Well, yeah. It's not exactly true that no one knows how to teach that. It's just that most people don't teach that. Uh, and, you know, I'm not gonna say that I can teach that. But from what I've read, and what I think I have seen, the only thing that I can come up with is this. To me, at least from my perspective, discipline is the habit of making good things become habits. Discipline is also the habit of doing something you don't like, doing something that you don't feel like doing, doing something that sucks at the time for a greater angle because you know you should do it even if you don't feel like doing it. And how do you build up this tenacity, this kind of attitude? I have no clue. I am not a psychologist. I am far from a successful person. This is an introspective rant combined with me cleaning my room. So what have I read though? Well, a lot of recommendations stem to this. Cleaning a room and taking ownership of your life. That's a start. But I think past that, what I am going to try to do is to, hold my, to put myself out there and try to hold myself accountable, promises to do things and do things and do things until I get used to just doing things even when I'm tired, doing things even when I don't feel like it, doing things even when I hate it. And that's why I am announcing in this video officially I'm going to be starting daily uploads. Yes, daily uploads. And as you've noticed, this channel has changed its name from ZX Tech to ZXT because I'm not just gonna make tech videos only because if I only made tech videos, I would run out of content really, really quickly. I'm gonna start making daily uploads of all kinds, but rest assured, I will still do a lot of tech content in there, you know. I will be doing at least one tech review every Saturday, at the very minimum, that's a promise. But I am gonna be doing daily uploads to when, I don't know, minimum three months. So today is November 24th. 
till February 24th, I will be doing this daily upload thing and I'll probably continue post that, you know, hopefully if I get my momentum going. So yeah, I'm trying to hold myself accountable by making this video after all this introspection and hopefully by forcing myself to daily upload to every day, take a camera up, make a video, make something that might be interesting, try to create something and train myself to just do all these ideas instead of being distracted by other ideas constantly and fresh ideas constantly. Hopefully, I can create a new attitude, a new habit of just being okay to embrace the suck. I think that's what they often say in the military, embrace the suck. I'm gonna try to do that. So yeah, daily uploads.